Okay. Let's continue our class. Today we are going to discuss two more components in microwave engineering system. Uh, the first component we are going to discuss is what we call it a mixer, or you can call it in general a frequency translator uh, with uh, the electrical symbol for uh, a mixer, mixer device with electrical symbol like this. So as you can see on the electrical symbol, mixer is a device which takes two signals with frequency, let's say F1 and F2 as input. So it takes two frequencies mix these frequencies, these signals, at the right condition and produce new signal with different frequency. Uh, we call it a mixer or frequency transmitter, generally. Uh, so as you can see on this mixer's component, there are two inputs with input L, I'll explain what's uh, this input later. So these two are inputs. Uh, similarly, on this smaller mixer, you have two input connections, two frequencies. After mixing, you have output uh, here at the X. So it is a device which is used to mix uh, two signals in order to translate the frequency, to change the frequency, either to scale up or increase the frequency, or to scale down or down convert or reduce uh, or decrease the frequency. We call this device a mixer. So, as you can see here on the block diagram of this mixer, there are two inputs. The first input is called RF input. Uh, in, uh, in our systems, in our microwave systems, we have RF input, radio frequency input. And another input, what we call it local oscillator inputs. It's an oscillator. Uh, it, it's in, inside our receiver or it's in, in transmitter side also. We have local oscillators. Uh, and mostly RF, the radio frequency, is low level signal frequency which comes from the uh, antenna side or uh, it, can, it can come from oscillator side. So what the mixer does, combine these two frequencies and it generates here output uh, a, a signal with different frequency, we call it intermediate frequency, IF signal. So, how many inputs in mixer? Two inputs, the RF input and local, input, local oscillator inputs. They are combined, uh, no, not combined, mixed together. Uh, and the frequency is changed. As you know, we uh, modulate our information signal on a carrier frequency, right? Uh, in many applications, we need to increase this carrier frequency. Uh, so, as you can see in this uh, microwave relay system, uh, the frequency which is 70 megahertz, which is our uh, RF frequency, in this case, and here we have a frequency source, uh, which is our local oscillator. So here we have a device called a mixer. In this case, it is called what? Up converter 
mixers. So mixers are two types. Mixers, when you say a mixer, we have two types of mixer. Uh, up converter. Uh, In up converter mixer, uh, the output here, at this, the intermediate frequency, what we call it, uh, is uh, the frequency of the RF. So FIF, the intermediate frequency, IF, will be the frequency of the RF. The radio frequency plus the frequency of the local oscillator so it is what it is summation so the definitely the rf frequency our uh, carrier frequency is a scale up increased uh, by mixing a rf with local oscillator we can increase the frequency uh, say type of mixer, uh, we call it up converter mixer. Okay, so as you can see here, this mixer device uh, takes input signals, two, two signals, one with frequency F1, another with frequency F2. So two inputs mixed together. So the mixer can generate many uh, signals. But when it is up converter, we need what? We need the summation of the two. We, because in up converter mixer, we need to increase the frequency of our carrier. From RF to IF, increase the frequency. In which type of uh, mixer? In the up converter mixer. Where the up converter mixer is needed in the transmitter section, mostly the this is our transmitter side. The 70 megahertz signal upscale increased by this up converter mixer into what? Uh, 60 gigahertz. Look here. So the 70 megahertz signal comes comes to the our up converter. Before it's transmitted, it's com uh, increased. The frequency is increased to how much? 60 gigahertz. You see the tower frequency? 6 gigahertz. The up converter mixer in our transmitter circuit, this is our transmitter circuit. Okay. Uh, so uh, this is our transmitter circuit. It goes here and transmitted through the antenna. Uh, this is the receiver part. Okay. So in the transmitter part, we have uh, up converter mixer, which increases. Uh, 70 megahertz to 60 gigahertz. Now the question is why we need to increase the frequency. Uh, we have discussed the benefits, advantages of high frequency, right? When you go to high frequency, we have increased bandwidth, component size will be uh, smaller. When you go to radar, we'll have high resolution applications. Uh, when you come to satellites, uh, high, this high frequency is high energy, so we can transmit for uh, geosynchronous or with longer distance. So this high frequency has so many benefits. So up converter mixer translates the uh, frequency into high, okay, into high value. Uh, to the reverse, uh, mixers can be down converter. Uh, mixer can be uh, down converter mixer, two types. Uh, first, we have seen up converter, right? So second type of mixers, they are called down converter.
So down converter mixer, uh, you can find for example here. Okay. So down converter mixer, mostly usually used in the receiver side. So from our receiver antenna here, we have six megahertz. The carrier frequency which comes from the antenna, which is our uh, RF frequency, FRF is six gigahertz, which is uh, using this circulator guided to this band pass filter and through isolator it comes to the mixer side. The uh, low, uh, sorry, down converter mixer on the receiver side. So <laughs> six gigahertz frequency, uh, it's very difficult to process by the receiver. Uh, so to make it easy for our receiver, the processing of this signal, first you have to down convert the carrier frequency from 60 gigahertz to intermediate frequency here, uh, 70 megahertz. Okay. The IF. So the FRF here, the uh, radio frequency, mixed with some frequency source, we call it local oscillator. It's down converter. So when it is down converter, uh, if you apply two frequencies, RF and local oscillator, what will be the output? We need the F1 minus F2 subtraction. For up converter, we take F1 plus F2, right? You see higher frequency compared with F1 and F2 here is higher frequency. How about here? The carrier frequency uh, co converted into lower one. Uh, by mixing F1 and F2, we take F1 minus uh, F2. So here, the IF output, FIF, uh, intermediate frequency, is equal to FRF uh, minus F local oscillator. That is minus here. So say type of oscillator we categorize as down converter, uh, down converter mixers. So, uh, one thing we have to know, in order to change the frequency, this device changes the frequency, right? So in order to change the frequency, uh, our device must have nonlinear characteristics. When you classify systems into two, linear and nonlinear, uh, linear, lean, if your system is linear, uh, it may change the amplitude, it may change the phase, but the frequency remains the same. Nonlinear systems, in another, another hand, the, they translate the frequency, they change the frequency. That's why uh, in the mixer, mixer must have the nonlinear property, this diode circuit. Okay, diode, as you know, is uh, nonlinear device. So uh, the, this diode circuits uh, is uh, mix, translate the frequency into different one. The output is completely different here, different frequency. But if it is linear system, the frequency will not be changed. But here, uh, inside these mixers, we have a diode circuit. Uh, diode circuit which is used to mix, change the frequency of the uh, two inputs. So this is a uh, general block diagram of a mixer. What is the first one? Input, input coupling network. Uh, it has two inputs, RF and uh, local oscillator, one output IF. So we have the first part, input coupling network which is for impedance matching mostly, uh, the input coupling network. Uh, as you know, if, if you connect any device, uh, if there is some impedance mismatch, signal will be reflected, right? So uh, then the diode circuits, which is the linear devices here, uh, which translate the frequency, into IF uh, and we have one more 
device for output filter. Why we need this output filter inside a mixer? The mixers have one problem. After mixing F1 and F2, the, when you see your output of the mixer, you can find only signal with F1, no mixed, but F1 is transmitted directly. F2, another output. Here you'll get the summation F1 plus F2, what we need for up converter mixer. Uh, F1 minus F2, this is the output, what we need for down converter. But all these outputs uh, exist, exist in the output because of the nonlinear property of the mixer. This nonlinear property of the mixer uh, generates these unwanted image frequencies. We call them image frequencies. So if you have, if you need up converter mixer, we need this one. We don't need this. All this will be image frequencies, right? If it is up converter mixer. But these frequencies exist in the output of the mixer. If it is down converter mixer, we don't need this one. We don't need this one. We don't need this one. We need only F1 in it. So these three frequencies will be, they are called what? They are called image, image frequencies. They are called image frequencies. So that's why sometimes you will see, when you see your TV picture, you will see double picture, right? Double image. Uh, because of this image frequency, we call it post, post image. So, uh, why this uh, harmonics image frequencies generated because of the nonlinear property of the mixer? So, for to re to remove this uh, unwanted image frequencies, uh, we have output filter uh, in our mixers. But these days. Uh, mixers called image rejection mixers also come through uh, picture. As you can see on the slide, uh, this RF input here, uh, we have discussed this quadrature hybrid, right? We have discussed 90 degree hybrid. Say power divider divide the RF from our antenna or from our oscillator into two parts. Power will be divided into two. One is zero degree. The other output is at nine. That's why we call it quadrature hybrid. We have discussed these power dividers. So we divide the RF into two parts first. Then the IF frequency, sorry, the local oscillator here, uh, zero degree divider, which is Wilkinson power divider. So the F local oscillator, this is FRF divided into two, one for first mixer, another for second mixer. You see, uh, so these mixers are called uh, major injection mixer, balanced mixers. So what will be the output of this? IF, another IF here. So finally, using a power combiner, a directional coupler, as I said, it can be used to combine these two signals, and you'll get here F, IF. F intermediate frequency, okay? Uh, it's a mixer which mix uh, radio frequency RF and local oscillator FLO and gives us intermediate frequency, but all the image frequencies are cut. That's why this mixer is called image rejection uh, mixer, okay? Uh, Basic working principle for this image rejection is if you have a signal, and if you shift the phase angle by uh, 90 degree like this, if this is unwanted frequency, uh, if you add them together, what will be the result? This will be plus, this is equal minus, plus minus get cancelled. 
uh, minus plus get cancelled. So this this frequency will be balanced out, get cancelled. Okay, that's why we need this uh, uh, phase shifter to cancel this unwanted image frequencies. Uh, as you can see here, the mixer generates uh, not only the required IF, it generates image frequency, unwanted frequencies, which cause uh, some interference. So, uh, so, uh, in most microwave applications, uh, as, as we have discussed, the signal output we need may be the summation of the two. We call this type of mixer up converter mixer, or the difference, we call it down converter mixer. So, it depends on this, we call our, we classify our mixers up, up converter. If the sum is used, the mixer is called up converter. If the difference is used, uh, our mixer is called uh, down converter. Okay. Now, uh, as, as you can see here, the choice of up converter or down converter depends simply on what? Uh, depends on depends on the filter used in the mixer in the, in so, inside our mixer we have what a filter so there are uh, f1 frf minus f local oscillator or the summation frf plus uh, f local oscillator now which one you get at the if here if you get this was uh, if the filter passes this difference we, we call it down converter mixer depends on the filter if the filter rejects this one and pass the summation the fuel filter will be up converter filter. Okay. Uh, so it depends on which uh, which signal the filter passes? Uh, which signal is it the summation or uh, the difference? Uh, the classification uh, of the filter can be up converter, uh, down converter. Okay. okay. Next, uh, next, our device uh, is attenuator. Another very important uh, device called attenuator. Uh, you can say it's overused device uh, in many cases to uh, quickly fix problems. Attenuators are used, overused uh, devices in microwave applications. Very important device, attenuator. Uh, so, uh, what's attenuation? Attenuate means uh, reduce or uh, decrease the uh, value of something. Uh, we call it attenuate, attenuate, or decrease or attenuation. So, in my in my crib, when you say uh, attenuation, we are we are concerned about the signal level, signal power uh, uh, reduction or decreasing or lessening of this signal level. We previously we have discussed mixers, right? Mixers work on the frequency, ch changing or translating frequency. But attenuators are devices which are used uh, to monitor, to control the signal power. Uh, this device would call it attenuators. Uh, So, uh, 
there are two type of attenuators again uh, some attenuators we call them fixed attenuators as you can see on the slide attenuators are devices uh, we put in the path of a signal in pass if signal transmitted through here if you put one attenuator in the uh, circuit pass uh, with this attenuator can reduce the amount of signal power control the amount of signal power by put some obstruction in the pass okay so it's just uh, an obstruct uh, used to obstruct signal level uh, through our transmission uh, pass okay so where, uh, when you put attenuator another point we'll discuss when you come to the specifications we'll discuss uh, this important specifications of data sheets for attenuators will come to that which which we have to consider when we select any attenuator but very important device it's overused Technicians mostly used attenuators to quick fix uh, problems related to transmission. Okay. So, as I said, the attenuators are classified into two. The first attenuator, attenuators are two types. Uh, we have attenuators called fixed attenuators. So, the most common uh, attenuator types uh, for many applications uh, is fixed type attenuators. So, uh, they have a fixed value. For example, uh, your attenuator may have 6 dB. Okay, attenuator may have 6 dB. Uh, which, what does it mean? 6 dB attenuator. If you put it on the path of your signal, what does it mean? Signal transmitted with input power and here we have output power. So the signal level decreased or lessened or reduced by how much? C3 dB. Okay, it's fixed volume. The attenuation is always six, I'm sorry, three. We cannot adjust it here. Whatever you uh, input power you apply, when it passes through this three dB attenuator, the power is reduced by three dB. So that's why these attenuators are called fixed attenuators. Uh, you may have 6 dB attenuator, uh, it's the value of the attenuation is fixed, so when the signal passes through this uh, attenuator, the signal level decreased by 6 dB. Okay? Uh, so say type of attenuators with fixed attenuation, we call them fixed attenuators. Uh, there are another type of attenuators, we call them variable attenuators. So, variable attenuators. So, the electrical symbol for fixed attenuator is like this, just like a resistor. Electrical symbol. Variable attenuators, the electrical symbol will be like this. Uh, so, Variable attenuators uh, again classified into two. The variable attenuators you can you can classify them into two. So the
the first, what we call it, step variable attenuator. Okay, step Uh, second one, continuous variable. Continuous uh, variable attenuator. So, variable attenuators classified again into two step variable and continuous variable. So, step variable means uh, these variable attenuators, you can adjust the amount of attenuation of this device. Uh, as you can see here, it is uh, one type of variable attenuator. So at the middle, you see uh, a knob. So you apply some amount of power here as input in one port. Uh, other, other port will be output. So this is adjusted. The amount of attenuation. How much power you want to reduce? How much power you want to decrease from input power? you can adjust it by, it's not fixed, okay, it's not fixed. Uh, you can adjust it, uh, the amount of attenuation, the amount of power reduced by this attenuator device, it's adjustable, okay. Uh, for fixed case, uh, if you bring 6 dB attenuator, it's always 6 dB, okay. If you bring 20 dB, it will be 20 dB, no adjustment, but here, uh, it's variable, you can adjust it. Again, there are two types. Uh, step variable uh, and continuous variable, which means in step variable attenuator, for example, if you have a step variable uh, attenuator, if you buy step variable attenuator, uh, So uh, this will be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So you can select, uh, you can select one dB. 1 dB attenuation. This is a variable attenuator from 0 up to 10 dB. You can adjust it. You can adjust the attenuation level from 0 to 10 dB, uh, but with steps. What is the step here? The step is 1 dB. You can increase or decrease attenuation uh, by 1 dB. If you change the position into here, you can change the position here. Now the amount of attenuation will be four. Okay, so you can adjust uh, attenuator by steps. Okay, by steps. Here you cannot have 1.75 dB attenuation. No, you may have one dB, two dB, three dB because the step value is one. If you have attenuator with a step value of 0 0.5, 0 0.5 dB, which is much better. Now you can have, uh, you can adjust by plus minus 0 0.5. So you can select here 1.5. It's now increase. You can increase by 0 0.5. So you may have 2.5, 3.5. 4.5 and so on. So if we choose here, it will be, attenuation will be 5.5 dB. But in this case, the step must be 5.5. In one dB step attenuators, you can increase or decrease, adjust the attenuation uh, by one dB. Okay, it's adjustable, but it's step variable uh, attenuators. Uh, the other second type of variable attenuator we call it continuous. In this case, 
you can adjust the attenuation uh, at any value. Okay, it's continuous uh, variable attenuator. So, what we have discussed, attenuators, very important device, which are uh, which are used to monitor, control our signal level by decreasing the power, uh, by attenuating the power. Uh, so it's a kind of obstruction in our signal. Uh, so more obstruction means more attenuation. When you uh, remove the obstruction, uh, this is a part of the signal. So by putting some obstruction in the path, you can decrease, increase the amount of power. The amount of power, the level of the signal can be controlled by a device called attenuator. Okay, it's not on the frequency, it's not on other parameters. Attenuators control the signal level, power. There are two types, fixed and variable type. So uh, let's see the specifications. So this case, you will see the specification of a data sheet for fixed attenuators. So uh, you first parameter is frequency. So this attenuator can work from DC up to, there are two type of, uh, standards, standard type and power type. Let's take the standard one. So the first thing we have to check is the frequency range. So this attenuator works from zero to 12 gigahertz. It's a high bandwidth attenuator. How much attenuation? 20 dB. Is it fixed or not? In this case, uh, this is a 20 dB attenuator. Okay, so it's 20 dB attenuator. So attenuation indicates what? Attenuation is a data sheet. It indicates the amount of signal reduced from input to output of the attenuator. When you compare input and output power, signal is reduced by 20 dB. That's attenuation tells you. Next, uh, next parameter is uh, accuracy. So uh, any device, have some plus minus accuracy. So in this case, uh, the accuracy of this device is plus minus. So due to some design or uh, manufacture imperfection, we, you need 20 dB attenuation, but it can be 20.5 or it can be 19.5. Attenuation will be in this range. You will not get exactly 20 because this accuracy is not perfect. Uh, next, the voltage standing wave ratio is also very important. When you, uh, because as I said, this device is overused, overused, not used, overused. It's everywhere. So it's, you have to take care when you connect a device uh, with the amount of impedance mismatch we created. More when you connect a device, if that device causes impedance mismatch, uh, signal will be reflected back. Okay, instead of transmission, we have reflected. That's that parameter called voltage and wave ratio, as we have discussed uh, in chapter chapter one. So this this specification, you have to know how much base WR, or you can read it by base WR meter. It's one point two hours relatively uh, good uh, amount of uh, multi-standing vibration. Another important parameter you have to know is the input power. So this case, uh, two watt attenuator. Attenuators are very sensitive, so uh, input power tells how much power we can apply to the device safely. So it's what safely. Uh, when you say safely, uh, it means two things. The device may be damaged by if you apply high power. So this is the safe power level power. Two what? If you apply signal with more than these two, uh, the attenuator may be damaged physically or uh, 
it's not damaged, but it does not work as you need. Uh, it does not uh, uh, function properly, depends on the requirement. Uh, so for this device, this attenuator, to work properly, depends on the requirement, the input power is limited to 2 Watt. Okay? Uh, 2 Watt. So, when you buy a attenuator, you have to check uh, which frequency range this attenuator works, how much attenuation it is, if it is fixed. If it is variable, you, you can say, is it fixed step? Uh, sorry, step, va step uh, variable or continuous variable. But this one is the fixed one. It's only how much? 20 dB. Okay. Is it accurate? Accuracy is also very important. In this case, plus minus uh, dB accuracy. Voltage is a new ratio you have to determine. Uh, so, uh, next we have to check its input power. How much power you can apply safely to this attenuator? If you apply 10 watt to this attenuator, this attenuator specification is 2 watt input power. If you apply 10 watt, this attenuator may not work properly. Okay, so uh, this typical data sheet for uh, fixed, this typical data sheet for variable attenuator. In this case, as you can see here, Frequency is 2 to 4 gigahertz. Fixed attenuators are, have high bandwidth compared with variable attenuators. Just like uh, when you study electronics, we have resistors. 2K resistor, 2 kilo ohm, right? You say. Uh, what's resistor? It's used to limit the current so, uh, circuit. Uh, the higher the resistor, uh, the less the current flows through here, circuit. So, uh, you also have resistors which are variable, right? Potentiometer, you call them port. Potentiometer. So, 10K port means the resistor value can be adjusted uh, up to 10K. So, similarly, here, our attenuators. Uh, in microwave system, we call them attenuators. They can be fixed type or variable type. So this attenuation is a variable type. You can adjust it from five minimum up to ten. Okay. Uh, it is adjustable attenuator. Minimum you get five dB. Maximum you get. Now, if it is a step variable, there are steps you can adjust. For example, if it is step value of step value of uh, five dB, what does it mean? The next value you'll get is ten. The next value you'll get is fifteen. Up to what? Up to hundred. So you can select. Any, uh, you can select 10 dB, 15 dB, because step is 5 dB. Is it possible to get uh, 11 dB? No, because it step is 5. If step is 1 dB, it's much better. The next value you'll select it will be 6, 7, you can increase by 1 dB. Okay? If it is variable, continuous variable, continuous and step variable, if it's continuous variable, you can adjust to any value. Accuracy, as we have discussed, this is less accurate compared with fixed attenuators. Uh, it can be plus minus 1.2. And another point very important is voltage standard. How much impedance match between this attenuator and the rest of the system? Okay, so we'll continue next class.